California's desert province poses extraordinary challenges to plant life. Some plants meet these challenges by growing quickly and completing their life cycle in a single season, remaining dormant in the seed bank during the hottest time of the year. Other plants stick it out and endure heat, drying winds, and baking sun all year long. The creosote bush or Laria tridentata in the caltrop family Zygophilaceae is one such plant. In the heat of the desert summer, prior to any monsoonal rains, annuals and many other perennials are inactive. But the evergreen creosote bush continues to photosynthesize year-round, even when stressed by drought. The small opposite leaves consisting of two paired leaflets are shiny and resinous. Why would creosote have the specific epithet tridentata, meaning three-toothed, when it has two leaflets? There is a small deciduous appendage, seen here, between the leaflets, which represents the third tooth. Clusters of leaves are oriented to capture morning light for highest photosynthetic efficiency while reducing exposure to midday solar radiation. The showy yellow flowers are borne signally in the axils of leaves. There are five petals, which are clawed and twisted, giving the corolla a propeller-like appearance. In creosote bush, the ten stamens have short, brack-like appendages at the base of the filaments. The five-lobed, capsular fruits are quite striking, with their dense covering of silvery hairs which age reddish-brown. When mature, they break into five one-seeded nutlets. The bark is also quite distinctive with dark, swollen rings at the nodes, visible both in reddish young twigs and persisting as the stems age, developing pale gray bark. The creosote bush is a highly successful desert species and dominates the vegetation in many parts of its range in the Sonoran and Mojave deserts. These plants are clonal, with the ability to reproduce vegetatively. Scientists estimate that some of these colonies have lived longer than 10,000 years. The oldest individuals of this species may have been growing when modern desert conditions were first forming across the desert southwest. Follow the Jepson videos to learn more about the flora of California.